What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. I am Letitia and this is That So Letitia. And for today's video, if you guys read the title, we are going to get into some parfum, cologne, et du toilette, um, myths and reasons why your perfume does not last. And I'm super excited to say sponsoring, yes, y'all heard that, finally, sponsoring. This video is none other than the great people over at dossier.co. Yes, ma'ams. Yes, ma'ams. Yes, guys, y'all heard that right. I have a sponsored video. Oh! <laughs> so yes, um, the people over at Dossier actually sent me out a wonderful perfume to share with you guys. And with all of that being said, let's get into the video. So, reasons why your perfume does not last. Now, I am by no means a expert in this field. I just know some things that actually work and some things that don't work. Lately, I've been seeing on Twitter, I've been seeing on my Instagram, I've even been seeing in person some very cringe-worthy practices pertaining perfume and perfume application. Here's the thing. What brought me to even wanting to do this video is the fact that I saw a post on Twitter, something along the, along the lines of why women's perfume doesn't last, okay? All perfumes are not created equally. All DNA does not respond to perfumes the same. So let's start at the basis. When you go into a store to purchase perfume, you are not just going in for a one size fits all experience, or at least you shouldn't. So let's say for instance, I have a good girlfriend and she has on Lost at Sea. I don't know if that's a real fragrance, I'm just saying. So she has on Lost at Sea and I'm smelling it on her now. I'm digging it. Oh my God, girl, where did you get that from? I have to have that. Oh, lost that C, I bought that so-and-so. Okay, I'm gonna go get it. And then you go buy it and you spritz it and it doesn't smell the same. Well, first of all, there are three sets of notes per parfum, cologne, and toilette, any sort of fragrance um, that is considered to be well put together should have three sets of notes. That is your top note, your middle note, and your base note. And for each set of those notes, there are various smells, ingredients, herbs, flowers, um, scents that correlate with those several different notes. Now, on her, on your girlfriend or my girlfriend, her top note may have been Jasmine, where me and Jasmine, we don't mix. So I'm missing that top note. Doesn't smell the same. Or her top note might be Jen, uh, Jasmine, and there's another scent there, which may be pear or ginger. And my body is more receptive to pulling that pear scent out. So it smells totally different on me, which is okay. And I think after a lot of trial and error, smell testing and wear testing, that majority of us will kind of get into the groove of knowing what scents and what notes work for us as it pertains to purchasing perfume, especially if you are jumping out there and you are purchasing expensive perfume, luxury perfume. Which brings me back to dossier.co, or let's just drop the .co for a moment and talk about dossier. So dossier is a luxury inspired perfume company brand. And what I mean by luxury inspired is they bring to you affordable, 
perfumes, colognes, concentrates for men, women, as well as unisex at an extremely affordable cost. Now, the one that was actually sent to me is this one here. It is called, I don't know if you guys can see that. It is called Ambery Saffron. Let me just give you guys a little bit of history or a little bit of background on Ambery Saffron. Notes. Like literally, they gave me notes. But the uh, top notes for Ambery Saffron are Saffron, orange, blossom, middle notes, jasmine, plum, cedarwood, base notes, oak moss, fir balsam, and amber, okay? It is inspired by MFK's Baccarat Rouge 540 E du Parfum. Here's the thing with that. Like I just said, it's gonna take you know, time for majority of us to kind of get those signature scents down, know what notes work best for our body and our chemistry and even our mood. And to do so, you have to kind of go through, you know, trial and error of purchasing different perfumes that you may have smelled on someone else and you get it and you're excited and it doesn't smell the same on you. But that can be time consuming as well as very expensive. Expensive. And as any one of us that, you know, returns things back and forth to say all to Sephora, no, after so long of doing that, they kind of cut you off. I don't want y'all to be cut off. So, Dossier, even though it is a web-based company, they actually have a money-back guarantee. They stand so firm behind their products that in the event that you should receive one and it's not to your liking, you don't fancy it, you actually can just go on their website, print out a return label, and ship it back. Money back guarantee, right? So regarding the Ambery Saffron that they sent, this guy is inspired, not duped. I'm gonna tell you why there's a difference. It's inspired by MFK's Baccarat Rouge, okay? This one here on their site, it actually retails for $49, and that is for 1.7 fluid ounces, $49. Now, if you are familiar with Baccarat Rouge 540, then you would know that $49 won't even get you hand lotion that is made and you know made with the same scent as Baccarat Rouge. So to receive a ginormous size um, bottle of this parfum, I was very excited to try it out. But I wanted to be sure that I did my due diligence and that I was able to provide you all the most bestest review, wear test experience from this brand. I wanna stand behind anything that I talk about on my videos, right? So, I have this one. I actually went out and I bought MFK's Baccarat Rouge 540. I wish somebody would have sent this to me, but they did. I was able to pick this one up from Neiman Marcus. And this one, which is Baccarat Rouge, this one has 2.4 fluid ounces and it costed me $300. Now, here's the thing. I own perfumes in many different price points. 
So I am by no means um, a stranger to spending this type of money. I actually own uh, a few of Tom Ford's, which they also have on their website, Dossier. Um, website that are inspired by, I know one of the big ones out right now is Lost Cherry. My Lost Cherry was almost $600. On their website, I believe they have theirs that is inspired by Tom Ford's Lost Cherry. It's called Oriental Cherry, $49. Yeah, yeah. So, okay, we have both these guys here, right? Now, it's like, okay, that's fine, whatever, you, whatever. They smell so identical. It's frightening. I thought it was just me being overly hyped and being overly excited, you know, that I had both the more pocket-friendly version and the luxury uh, priced version. So what I did was I conducted a few different uh, tests with this perfume and its inspired version. What I did was for like three days, because I've had this perfume now for two weeks and I wanted to wear it well before I even presented it in my video. So I wore it for about a few days. Um, all day around my family, at work, you know, when I would go outside. And I would, you know, receive compliments from my family and people I work with regarding how well it smelled. I never told anybody what it was, but I'm like, oh, okay, you know, thank you. Then what I did was I started wearing the luxury priced version. Same thing. Nobody was able to tell the difference. They both wore the same. I experienced both um, the same notes on both, and they both gave me maximum amount of wearage and scent throughout the day without having to reapply. That brings me to this point. Why doesn't your perfume last? Okay. Again, all perfumes are not created equally. There's different versions of perfume. Now, a lot of us, we grew up with like our body sprays, you know, from like Bath and Body Works or Victoria's Secret. Um, you know, there's even some popular drugstore branded body sprays. So with a lot of us, you know, even in our older ages, we're under the impression if it has a scent and the scent is strong and I like it, it should last. Not necessarily, okay? Your body sprays, that is definitely something that helps to um, pack on after you have already applied the more concentrated versions. So speaking of versions, you have E de Toilette, Toilet, Water. It's more concentrated with water than it is the actual perfume ingredients. Makes sense? It's the more affordable version of whatever that particular scent is. So we'll use Out to Sea as an example. We have Out to Sea E de Toilette. For the most part, a lot of us, we want that scent. We don't care, we want that scent. So you may see a 1.7 fluid ounce of the Eau de Toilette and it's $70. But you may see the Parfum and for a 1.0 fluid ounce, it's $250. Which one are you going to? Because in your mind, you're thinking they're both the same, but somehow you're getting more of a deal by getting the Eau de Toilette. You are getting a more expensive, more popular body spray version. That's how I like to look at Eau de Toilettes, is a more um, glammed up body spray. And then there's even some that are extracts. Now the extracts cost more than the parfums because the extract gives you maximum scent, maximum coverage, maximum 
uh, longevity in terms of wearability and you don't have to do really nothing at all to get those scents to last with the extracts. Now with the parfums, you don't have to do much. What I notice a lot of people do and I, I be feeling some type of way when I see them do it, but I'm like, you know what? You used to do it too until you learned better. When you spritz, I'm not gonna spray, it's too early. But when you spritz, do not do this. It's not hand sanitizer. You don't have to rub it in until it dries and then smell it. The moment that you spritz it on, that experience begins. And what you are doing, you are compacting those top notes, those middle notes, all the way even down to those base notes. It's going to wear and it's going to complement you throughout the day or throughout the duration of time that you're wearing it. So, you know, again, I'm in stores and stuff and I'm seeing people, you know, spread to on and they're doing this and and I'm like, okay, what scent is it that you're trying to get to? Because if you allow it to, it will wear into that scent. But you are cutting the longevity of that experience by you compromising and compressing those notes. So yeah, we don't want to do that. And that's regardless if you get an Idu Toilet or a Parfum or an extract, don't compromise and compress the notes. Let them breathe let them be you know and you'll notice when you do that that the scent evolves a little bit more throughout the duration of time that you're wearing it okay that's what you know th that's why they give us so many different notes in the um fragrances so that's one reason that your scents are not lasting is understand that there's different versions that have different concentrates of the ingredients in them. You do toilet being one of the most pocket friendly, but yet glammed up versions of the body spray all the way up to your parfums and your extracts. Second reason, you're not squishing, mushing, stomping grapes. You are not using hand sanitizer. Stop compromising and compressing the, uh, the notes. And then thirdly, which I feel is honestly most important out of all, do we exfoliate? I'm just asking. Because if you have layers of dead skin on you, then sometimes, even with moisturizers, um, lotions, body serums, things like that, that you may be you know, purchasing and using for your body, if you do not do like a dry brush or even a in shower or in bath exfoliation where you're removing those top layers of dead skin, then you are not allowing that fresh turnover of new skin to actually exist. Glow as well as properly absorb products that you are putting on your body. All they're doing is sitting on top. So what I suggest is at least once a week, two times a week, just saying, to do a full body exfoliation dry brush you will notice such a difference and not only that but it invigorates you it wakes up your senses it helps pump your heart better it gives you better um, circulation throughout your body and your body is more receptive to the products that you are putting on so yes those are just a few of my tips for a successful perfume application and a long lasting wear. All right guys, so that is all I have for you good people out there today. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully some of these tips helps at least some of you all out there with your perfume, perfume, eau de toilette or extract 
uh, selections and help you maximize your buck so that you get the most for your money. I know this year has been like an explosion of um, interest and obsession over fragrances and home fragrances, candles and things like that. I know last year we were into skincare. This year, perfumes, colognes, smell goods. You know what I'm saying? And I just wanna make sure that you guys actually be able to take advantage of that and you're satisfied with your purchases. So with all of that being said, if any of you guys out there are interested in Dozier, you for the entire month of August can take advantage of 10% off of your entire purchase. Yes, y'all, by applying my name, L-E-T-I-T-I-A in the number 10 in the discount code box on the website as you are filling in your order and receive 10% off of a already amazingly low cost. Free shipping if you order three or more bottles and they have a fast turnaround rate from the time that I actually placed my order to the time I received it on my door, I want to say it was no more than four days. So yes, definitely something to look into. And guys, as always, I will put in the description box below a link to Dossier's website as well as that discount code. Take advantage of it, share it with your friends. For the entire month of August, this code is live, starting today, August 1st. So yeah, thanks to Dossier for sponsoring this video. Thanks to you guys for watching. And as always guys, we shall chat again soon.